Hey writers, and welcome to our seventh writing prompt. As you can see, I'm back inside this week because it is hot outside, and I didn't want to be getting sweaty as the video went on. But today, what I want to do is I want to focus on conflict. And before we get into that, I want you to take a moment to ask yourself, have you ever read a story without conflict? Have you ever read a story where the characters magically got along, magically got everything they wanted and not a problem was in the way? How was that story if you've ever read it? Was it interesting? Was it captivating? Or did it kind of feel maybe a little pointless? The reason why I bring that up is because although we look at conflict as a bad thing because we're in opposition of each other, it can actually be a good thing in some ways if we use it correctly, especially in storytelling. Think about maybe a time where you got into an argument with somebody and you were wrong and maybe at the time you didn't know you were wrong until after the argument and then you thought, ah oh, man, I was really in the wrong, I really should have listened to that person or that person was right or maybe vice versa, you knew you were right later and then the other person admit they were wrong. What changed there? What I think changes is that we challenge ourselves. We challenge who we think we are. We challenge who we think we're supposed to be and what we believe is right. And we grow from that. We learn from that. And so, in a way, conflict can be a good thing in some respects because it can cause us to grow and constantly be evolving and challenging ourselves and becoming better people. So, what are some of the different ways that we can explore conflict and storytelling? Well, first, I think it's important to break down the two specific types of conflict that we can look at. First is external conflict. And this is going to be anything that's happening externally or outside of the person experiencing the conflict. This is because, you know, you're either, you know, in conflict with somebody else, um, an outside sort of circumstance, maybe a situation, maybe an environment that you're placed in. And then there's the other, which is more internal conflict. So this is something where you're not exactly acting in opposition to anything outside of you, but maybe you're doing things that you're not so sure of. You're not sure if you're doing the right or the wrong thing. And it's kind of putting you in a little bit of maybe a moral crisis. This would be seen as an internal conflict because it's happening inside of you. It's happening inside of your head, all right? So the easiest way to establish conflict, I think, in storytelling is to first establish a goal that a character wants to achieve. This can range from a lot of different things. This can range from they want to get a part in a school play, they want to get a new job, they want to get a specific girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be. They want to um, achieve all sorts of different things and they're not able to. And why is that? Because there's an obstacle in their way. Even if in internal conflict, there is something that you know, they're not sure if they're in the right or in the wrong or which direction they should go. The internal conflict is maybe they want something, but then they know that the way that they would go about getting it is the wrong path and therein lies the conflict. As an example, an external conflict. Let's say, you know, let's say Jim wants to get a lead in the school play and yet Bill also wants to get that same lead. So what's happening there is they're in conflict with each other. They're each other's obstacle, so to speak. However, let's say that, you know, Bill, uh, his family has been struggling a lot and, you know, maybe they need help with like money or other things and he wants to help his family. And so the only way he knows how to maybe get that money is to take it or to steal it from somewhere. But obviously, that's not the right thing to do. So Bill then is kind of having a conflict of his own of, you know, should I do this? Yes, I'm doing it for good intentions, but it's not the right thing to do to get this money, right? So I think this is important because, again, it leads us to challenge ourselves. It leads us to grow. And in storytelling, it lets our characters challenge themselves and grow and puts them in unique situations where not only are you learning new things about the characters, but in a way, you're kind of learning new things about yourself. 
because if you see yourself in the perspective of the character, then you're going through all of those things that the character is as you're reading. And as the character is going through these things, you kind of are invited to ask yourself, what would I do in this situation? So for this week, the prompt I want to focus on is I want you to come up with a situation of conflict. It can be with characters that you've written before or all new characters altogether, but I want you to write a situation of conflict that can either be external or internal. It's completely your decision, but you need to pick one or the other and then think of the, a thing or the thing that the character wants and then think of the obstacle that's in their way that will create conflict for them. And then what happens? What did the character do? How do they overcome that obstacle? Do they overcome that obstacle? Do they get what they want or do they not get what they want? And if they do get what they want, are they doing so in a good way or are they doing bad things to get it? You know? So I'm really interested to see what everybody writes for this one because conflict is a really interesting thing. You know, sometimes both people can be wrong. Sometimes both people can be right. Sometimes one side is wrong and the other is right. And there's so many different ways to go about this that, you know, you can have all sorts of fun with it. So, to recap, come up with a situation, in a, a situation of conflict, either external or internal, and think of a goal that a character wants and then the obstacle that's stopping them from reaching that goal and see what happens, see what kind of situation that the character gets in, and see how they respond to it. I want you to enjoy, I want you to have fun, I want you to have a good time, have a good week, have a good two weeks, I suppose, and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun writing.